So here we are at the statue of Charles Darwin. Born in 1809, Darwin is best known as a self-taught zoologist who wrote his famous book on the origin of species in 1859. When we think of Charles Darwin, most of us might imagine this old bearded man who developed ideas about evolution. What you might not imagine is a young 17-year-old Darwin arriving in Edinburgh to study medicine. Here he met a man who was almost written out of history despite a lifelong impact on Darwin. The man in question was John Edmonston, perhaps the first black man that Darwin would have come across and spent working time with. John Edmonston taught Darwin the skill of taxidermy, and this skill helped Darwin preserve the birds that fermented his ideas about evolution during his five-year voyage on the Beagle in the 1830s. Born into slavery in Guyana in 1790, John Edmonston was a slave of a Scottish owner, Charles Edmonston. However, he was freed when he moved back to Scotland with his former owner and eventually settled in Edinburgh. John had learned taxidermy from Charles Edmonston's son-in-law, Charles Walterton, a naturalist and a traveller who invented his own unique way of doing taxidermy using toxic mercuric chloride. This was a fast-acting fixative of animal tissue which stopped the decay of any dead birds that he had collected for stuffing, thus allowing for long-term preservation. Although Walterton was not initially very complimentary of John's skills as a taxidermist, by 1824, John was successfully earning a living teaching students at the University of Edinburgh on how to do taxidermy. When the young Darwin arrived in Edinburgh, he lodged with his brother at Mrs Mackay's address, 11 Lothian Street. John, who was to become Darwin's teacher of taxidermy, lived nearby on the same street at number 37. Darwin disliked lectures and dissections, plus he lacked confidence in his own ability to draw. However, he had attended the lectures of Dr Duncan. John was once Duncan's servant, which is most likely how Darwin became aware of him and ended up taking over 40 hours' worth of taxidermy lessons, attending every day for over two months. In January 1826, he wrote to his sister Susan, where he mentioned a lesson cost him one guinea for an hour. We can only imagine the conversations that John Edmonston would have had with the young Charles Darwin, telling him about his enslavement in Guyana, giving insight to the plants and animals found there, and stories of his subsequent travels to arrive in Scotland. In 1831, at the age of 22, Darwin did indeed board the ship HMS Beagle, undertaking a historic voyage of scientific study and natural history. During his visit to the Galapagos Islands in 1835, in a place where he would eventually put together his renowned theory of natural selection, 15 Galapagos finches were collected and preserved by Darwin, just as John Edmonston had taught him. John was one of the very early mentors to Darwin, and by sharing his knowledge, it has helped to inform mainstream scientific thinking while he remains largely underrecognized, In Darwin's own autobiography, he calls John a very pleasant and intelligent man. This shows the impact John had on Darwin during the early formative years of his life. Although John remained in Edinburgh, it is not currently known where he was laid to rest after his death. Many black people's contribution to science are hidden from history, and we have to reconstruct their stories from the margins of more famous scientists' lives. By telling this story, we're giving John a voice that makes sure his narrative is not erased from history, honouring him with the recognition and acknowledgement for his contribution to science. 
Next, I'll be taking a deeper dive into the history of Kokawa and my own personal connection to the story.